Hey there. What's happening, guys? Let's talk. Because I did, a, a, my last video was on communication. Let's talk about core values. Here's the thing. If you don't stand for something, you fall for anything. So you got to have some sort of values, some sort of ideals, some sort of a code. You got to have a code. We all have a code. Every Everybody who performs at a high level has a code. Now, here's the thing. It could be any number of things, but some of the things that we take, that I take a lot of pride on, and I know a lot of the people, my peers take a lot of pride on, is communication, right? Tell them, tell them what you told them, tell them again, and still it all. And the reason that we do that is the reason that we over communicate is not because we think you're an idiot, not because we think you're stupid, but because we want to make sure that you understand we're on the same page and, you know, bridge that memory, help build that memory, right? Representing what winning looks like all the time. That's another good one. Like, I get it. You know, sometimes we're going to fall flat on our face and sometimes things don't go our way. But here's the thing. When that happens, if that happens to you, what matters is how you pick yourself up and how you keep getting forward. There are no losers. The only losers are the ones who give up and the ones who don't keep trucking on. So as long as you keep getting up, you keep learning your lesson, you keep pushing forward. Guess what? You're winning at all times. You may not feel like it in the moment, but you're progressing. You're winning. Representing what excellence looks like. What does excellence mean? Excellent comes down to communication, right? Get it. We're human. We don't always have the best communication skills. We don't always know how to get our our message across, our point across, because people hear things and understand things differently. And we all have our own styles and it's trying to figure out how to me mesh, right? But communication is a big one. It's setting the bar high, right? You know your peers, you know your competitors, you know most of the world operates on this level. Set yourself up here. Raise the bar, raise the standard, go the extra mile, set yourself apart. We make, we take a lot of pride and we make a lot of effort to set ourselves up above everybody else. Why? Because it makes everybody's lives easier. It makes our clients' lives easier. It makes our lives easier. It makes our back office, our support team's lives easier. It, it makes, if somebody has to step in and work on a file, help us out because we're on vacation or we're sick or we need an extra pair of eyes on something, it just makes everything that much more smoother. The smoother the process, the happier everybody is, the happier everybody is, the better the reviews, the stronger the case studies, the more free marketing the clients get, the happier referral partners are, right? So what do you stand for? What do you stand by? What, what is your code? We all need a code. We all need stuff to live by, right? What do you do to learn? What do you do to adapt, right? Every, whether it's every single morning, every single afternoon, or in the evening, taking that time to yourself to learn, to better yourself, to work on self-development, right? Because it's we can sit there and we can play victims and we can blame everybody else and we can point the fingers, but guess what? I've got a finger pointed at you. I've now got three, that's right, three pointed right back at me. Pointing the finger, playing the blame game doesn't work. Everything in your life begins and ends with you. Everything in my life begins and ends with me. So we need to accept accountability and responsibility for what's going on in our lives and where we are in life, right? So the more that we can accept, the more that we can hold ourselves accountable, the more that we can do to better ourselves, the more smooth everything is going to go around us, the happier we're going to be, the less stressed out we're going to be, the more fulfilled we're going to be, right? Because who doesn't want to be more fulfilled? Who doesn't want to live a more, a more whole and fulfilling life? Right? Like, I can't think of one person that doesn't. Well, maybe, you know, couch potatoes living vicariously through the TV. That's one thing. They're, they're more than happy to, you know, live vicariously through the TV, play their video games, do whatever. And there's nothing wrong with that to each their own. That, that's their life. But, you know. So, what what is the lesson here? Like, what happened? Have something to stand for. Have a code. Have core values. Whatever you want to call it. Stand for something. Right? Why? Because it just makes life that much more smooth. It makes life that much more fulfilling. It makes everything that much better. What is the lesson? Stand for nothing, you fall for anything, right? So you got to take a stand for something. And how does it apply? How does it apply to your world? What's going on in your world? Where do you need to take a stand? Where do you need to implement a code, a core value, anything in order to not just benefit yourself, but benefit everybody who's around you, right? To help lift them up instead of holding them down. That's all I got for you guys. Drop a comment down below. I want to hear from you. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you guys on the other side. Cheers.